Okay, in lieu of an opening statement, we'll take a couple questions first for Coach Copeland. Raise your hand, let us get the mic to you. First question, front row to the right. Yeah, Jerry Carino from the Bergen Record. Congrats on a, on a great run, Cope. Um, Thank you, Jerry. What was this like for you and for your program to be on the stage and within 10 or 12 points in North Carolina with 10 minutes left? No, it, it, it was big uh, for me, you know, definitely coaching wise. Um, these guys here, because uh, they feel they belong here. You know, I think they worked work to put themselves in this position and then to play in this type of atmosphere. Um, obviously, it was flooded with North Carolina fans, as you would expect. Um, uh, I was happy for them to be able to compete in this, and I was really proud the way they competed. Um, you know, obviously what we've gone through all year is unideal, but uh, we expected to play well. We expected to win the game. Um, obviously we didn't, but, um, you know, I'm glad the way we played. <clears throat> Front row. I have another question for Donald. Uh, there's been some talk of eliminating auto bids for mid-majors. What would you say about the importance of having programs like Wagner on this stage? What it means to you, what it means to all schools of that nature? Right. Um, you know, I don't necessarily agree with that. I think, uh, you know, the, uh, Wagner's and, and, and schools of this level make the tournament just as any other high major or blue blood program. Um, it's a chance to compete. You know, we're all under one flag. Obviously, we, we all know the um, the difference in certain conferences and of, of that nature. But um, what makes March Madness fun, what makes the NCAA tournament is that, that the fact it's a one game season every game and anything can happen and anything is possible. So uh, it gives meaning to your to your season. You know, everyone's playing for a championship. And I think if you win a championship in your conference, you should have the right to compete uh, on a national stage just with everybody else. OK, questions now for uh, Julian, Melvin and Javier. Please raise your hand. We'll get the handheld mic to you. Who is the first question? Yeah, Jerry Carino from the Bergen Record again. For Julian, uh, you you were playing against a high school teammate tonight, uh, Elliot. What was that like for two Bergen Catholic guys to be going at it on a stage like this? Um, you know, it's a blessing. You don't see that often. Uh, two high school teammates meet at the college level and playing in one of the biggest stages uh, in the world. Uh, I'm super proud of him. Uh, he's like a little brother to me. You know, after the game, I told him, you know, go win, go win the rest of this, you know, this tournament. Um, you know, I'm super proud of him. I love him. It was great to compete against him uh, today, and um, I'm super proud of him. Any other questions? Or do we just, we'll just stay with the Bergen record here. Yeah, one more from Jerry Carino, Bergen Record. This is for any and all of the players. Uh, what's, what's this experience been like for you? Uh, what has this done for you and for Wagner basketball? Uh, this has been amazing. This is like a dream come true. This is what everybody dreams. Every kid that plays basketball, they want to play at this level. And I'm just blessed. I, just, I wouldn't be without, here without Gus. So I just want to thank him. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to thank that man upstairs for allowing us to uh, have this opportunity to uh, play at this level and, you know, compete uh, against the best college players in the world. Um, and I would, I would like to thank my coach for always uh, believing in us, uh, even when we had seven players, uh, you know, giving us confidence, giving us momentum coming into this tournament and even back in the conference tournament. So uh, I couldn't have done it without my teammates, my coaches. The staff, the school, you know, I, I give all the credit to them because without them, I don't think we would be here. So kudos to them. Okay, we also have people on Zoom. So we'll have a, we have a question from Dan uh, Tortoro. Dan, go ahead. Yeah, this is for Dan Tortoro, wake up call DT.com for each of the student athletes. The NEC, just what you were able to do in the conference this season to even make this a possibility to play in the NCAA tournament. Just what you can say about the Northeast Conference, the level of competition, and reflecting on the positivity that got you here. Go from left to right. Julian? Um, you know, it's, it's a great conference. You know, everybody's trying to compete for NCAA, NC, NEC uh, championship. So uh, all the teams is competing. You know, it's, it's, it was tough for us having seven guys and having to play them twice and then maybe three times in the playoffs. So it's a really tough conference. 
Uh, people probably look at it and say, oh, it's a small conference. It's, probably, it's not the a, uh, ACC or SEC, but I could compare those. I can compare. I could, I can go down the line to one of those teams, and those teams could be a high major team. You know, it's not just a small conference. You know, look at us. You know, we we made it to March Madness. What makes you think another NEC couldn't make it? You know what I'm saying? So I put respect on the NEC because it's a very tough conference. Melvin, like Julian said, uh, it's tough. But you know, Coach preached toughness to us every day, so that's what we uh, we ran with for the conference and came out NEC champs. Like they said, it's a tough conference, and everybody's trying to make the tournament. Only one team make it, so, yeah. All right, well, thanks, guys. You, just, you can head back to the locker room. Locker room, I think, remains open. And uh, congratulations and a great year. Thank you, fellas. Appreciate it. OK, we'll continue to take questions for Coach Copeland. To our friend in the front row. Yes, hi, Jerry Carino, Bergen Record again. Donald, what what happened this month? How can this impact your program going forward? How can you build off this? Um, no, I think it, it helps in a positive way for sure. This has always been the expectation. Um, whether we've had difficult seasons or some of the successful seasons we've had, there's always been an expectation of winning the NEC conference and then having a chance to compete. So uh, it's nice to be able to do that. Um, and it definitely gives the program something to continue to strive for uh, and hopefully try to get better because you have to get better. You know, you can't just do it the same way. So it's good to finally get this done and now raise expectations. Jerry, any other questions? OK. Are you sticking around to watch Bosch in St. Peter's? I would love to. Uh, I don't know our schedule right now off the top of my head. We and he and I have uh, spoken. Um, so uh, if it's possible, I, I would. I would like to. Any other questions? OK, thank you. Thank you, Jerry. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you.